Today, I'm gonna to talk about how much coffee I drink in an entire week. Seven point four eight miles, eight minutes, forty nine seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty six beats per minute today. Having a pretty okay run, running into some bathroom issues at least for the past couple of days, uh, which I suppose is a very fitting way to end the week where I've been documenting how much coffee I drink on a daily basis. Uh, and so, just out of some disclosures, um, the coffee that I'm going to be talking about uh, is not sponsored. It hasn't been sent to me. It's the stuff that I bought with my own money. Um, I don't think I need to tell you guys that, but I like to put disclosures in any time I'm talking about a particular product. So, uh, there's the disclosures on that. It's just coffee that I buy myself. Although, if anyone wants to start sending me coffee, that would be great. Uh, because as we'll see here, I go through a lot of it. So let's go over the numbers. First of all, uh, number is for the entire week, I drank 29 cups of coffee. It was relatively easy for me to measure it right now because I'm just at home. I'm not going to work. And so uh, I can easily keep track of it. The other reason why it's easy for me to keep track of it is because right now I'm drinking pretty much all K cups or uh, pod cups. What's the generic term for K cups? Is K cups the generic term for that? Um, we have a Keurig and the cups, uh, the, um, the coffee that I like is uh, Solimo, like that Amazon brand. Uh, it's a dark roast. We buy it uh, in the hundreds. So we buy uh, like a hundred box of it uh, at a time and we go through them sadly very quickly. And I will acknowledge that um, this is a lot of garbage that this creates because not only am I a coffee drinker, my wife is a coffee drinker as well. Not quite as much coffee as I drink, but she also drinks coffee every day and she's working from home as is pretty much everybody these days. Um, so we go through a lot of them relatively quickly and uh it is a giant environmental impact it's something that i don't feel great about the other kind of coffee that i do generally enjoy is aeropress coffee but a lot of the times when i'm drinking coffee it's very early in the morning and i just want to be able to just push a button and have coffee come out and it doesn't taste as good as aeropress coffee but it's faster than aeropress coffee and for me a lot of the times with coffee um the convenience Trump's quality. Like the people that do the fancy pour over thing where they're like, you know, like um, steeping the coffee like a tea and doing the fancy gesture. I, I don't have time for that. Um, I don't like coffee enough for that. Um, but I do like coffee enough to drink it 30 times in a week. So uh, on average, it's probably about four cups per average uh, to go through the daily totals. Thursday, I had three uh, just on the first day, which is why I do these kinds of things over the course of a week. The act of like documenting what you do changes what you do. And I think it takes you a couple of days to get like get to normal. So the following day, Friday, I had four cups. Saturday, I had four cups. Sunday, I had five cups, which is pretty normal for like a weekend to have four or five cups for the day. Monday and Tuesday each, I had four cups each of those days. And then Wednesday, I had five cups of coffee, uh, which seems like a lot. I don't remember drinking that much coffee, but I guess... I did. Um, so those are the numbers. Uh, it's a lot of cups of coffee per day. Generally, I'm starting at uh, 3.30 to 4 o'clock in the morning and right around like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll peter out. Uh, I usually end up having one cup of coffee after lunch in the afternoon, kind of like that lull period in between um, lunch uh, and dinner or I guess like at like tea time. Uh, so that's kind of like my general routine. Now, one of the things that I s switched up a little bit this week, and I didn't want to switch it up because I wanted this week of coffee to be kind of like a normal week for me. But something that's been coming up um, is that like I've been having uh, the need to go to the bathroom during my runs. Um, and that's been difficult because right now nothing's open for me to like, I can't go into a Starbucks and, and use their bathroom. So I've been trying to figure out why is that a problem? I think it's because I've been moving the runs earlier. I've been trying to run earlier in the morning, like try to get outside by like 4.30 or five. So that way I can avoid people. 
Um, but I think that's like having an effect. Um, my body's just not ready to be running yet. I think normally I'm not running until about 5.30 or 6 in the morning uh, during like normal-ish times. Um, and so um, that shift I think is having an effect. I also think my diet is not substantially different, but different than what it normally would be because I'm not going to work. Normally with work, I'm buying lunch downtown every day. I like to eat lunch with my team uh, every day. And so, uh, or like the people that I work with, not, I don't have a, like a running team, but the people that I work with. And so I'm usually buying lunch every day. Um, and so that's different. And then with like the normal like schedule of like taking kids to activities and like the normal like hurriedness of the work week, I think we were eating out a lot more than, I mean, I knew we were eating out a lot. I think a lot of people, as a side note, are going to realize just how much they tended to eat out, and if, even for people that think they cook all the time. Um, but I think now that we're not doing all those things and we're cooking more, I think my diet content has changed quite a bit. And so um, I think my body is still getting used to that. And so I think all those things are kind of like coming to a head. So for a couple of those days, I think like for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, maybe not Sunday because I did have five cups that day, but for Monday and Tuesday for sure, I skipped my first morning cup of coffee. Like that first, like I'm still half asleep, eyes are closed cup of coffee. I skipped that one. That was really tough. Um, but then I just skipped the coffee and went uh, out for my run, hoping that, well, maybe if I delay the caffeine, that will delay the onset of the need to urgently go to the bathroom. Uh, didn't quite, it worked for the for Monday and Tuesday. I think I did it for Wednesday as well, but it didn't quite work because uh, Wednesday was a day where I had a bathroom problem. So like, uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, caffeine, I think, probably isn't helping the situation, but it wasn't like the only problem with the situation. So like, I'm still, again, I'll figure, figure something out um, and figure out a way to kind of get through a run regularly. Um, but uh, that is my caffeine consumption for the week. It's something that you guys have asked for, especially whenever the time I do like a what I eat in a week video, people are always kind of like, well, how much coffee do you drink too? Cause you always talk about how much coffee you drink. So here's the video. <laughs> um, it was uh, an interesting experience to document. And I think definitely the biggest takeaway from it for me will be just how much waste it creates. So um, definitely something that will, uh, I'll be changing in the future. So if you have any more questions about that, or you wanna talk more about coffee, how much I drink in a week, uh, or how much you drink in a week, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know about it down there. I'd like to think that I'm not the only one that drinks as much coffee. Um, so someone please make me feel better about myself. Um, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for bringing all the way to the end of the video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?